So the, the question was, where does God see me in five years? The five-year span is an interesting decision to make, to say, in five years. Because what you're identifying is that there are, first of all, steps along the way that's going to get you to that end point that you are considering to be in five years. You're obviously already considering where you want to be in five years. But what you're really asking is, am I really going to be there in five years? Do I really have what it takes to be there in five years? God says, of course you do. In fact, you could be there in three years if you focus hard enough. But the three year span before that final I'm here has to be not I'm going to be, but I am working on being. There's a difference, it's very subtle. I am working on being, rather than I'm going to be. I'm right and admitting that you already are. I am working on being. See? Okay? So if you invest that I already am that which I am going to be, then at a certain point you recognize, oh, I already am. The, the specifics about that, though, are, one, make sure you have the support you need from your family, because your family can kind of turn its back on you when you are performing at your highest way, okay? So make sure you have their support, and how you get their support is by saying, I don't care what you say, I'm gonna do it anyway. They'll follow right behind you. Okay, honey, we love you. Whatever you want. Okay? Family support. Two, make sure you have all of the information that you need to take the mundane steps and turn them into something that are the markers. Markers. So this is, this is just a totally irrelevant example, but let's say you wanted to be a tow truck driver. <laughs> you have to get all the licenses that it takes to be the tow truck driver. You have to make sure that you are recognized by uh, the state and the industry uh, of being a tow truck driver. You have to acquire the tow truck so these are all the, the mundane step by step by step by step that you need. And these are the small steps you take every day, every day. Small step, small step, small step, small step. And you write every day a list of to-do, a list of to-do, a list of to-do. And what you don't get done on that day, you put on your next list of to-do, 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 to-do. And you can separate those to-dos into these are the calls I need to make and emails I need to make. These are the errands I need to run and these are the projects I need to begin or f work within. And you're going to separate those down too. Okay? And these are the groceries I need to buy. So every day is filled with your to-do. And don't feel bad if a day slips by and you didn't get a to-do either done or written down. But it's very important for you to put that practice in your mind of writing down what you're going to do today. And then, then you'll find in three years you will be where you want it to be in five. Okay? That's a hyper focus, a laser focus to getting there. Make sure you have your soother. Whenever you're in a focused state, the, st the structure of standing upright diminishes because you're hunched over your work. That's just how it works. Hunch over your work, nose to the grindstone. The problem is it destroys your posture. So everyone needs to be very aware of your posture when you're hyper-focused. Four, marry the way of your success. Marry the way of your sex success. So marriage is all about joining, and joining in this way is commitment. 
So we could easily just say commit to your success, but that doesn't really describe what, what is happening on a daily basis. You're married to it. So that means that it's your responsibility to take care of it every day, right? And if you don't take care of it, you recognize that this is something you were supposed to take care of. You marry yourself to it. This doesn't have to affect your relationships. There's no reason that marrying yourself to your success is supposed to steal from your relationships. Relationships are supposed to understand the nature of that success because they love that about you. You are so cool because of that. That's why they, they fell in your court. Each of us falls in the court of the one we love. We can't help it. We just, oh, I love you. <laughs> oh, I got tripped on that net again. I love you so much. Sometimes. That kind of love is what sustains success because if you don't have that, then it causes a great deal of stress on your success. So if you don't have that in your relationship and it's straining your success, simply remember and appreciate the relationship. Give it the time that it deserves because it does deserve your time and make time for it. The last most important one here is adjust your thinking all the time. Always adjust your thinking. So let's say someone sends you an email that sounds very curt. And in that curt, they have not only hurt you, but they've changed your opinion about them. They're no longer the support that you thought that they were. To adjust your thinking means, now look at it in other possibilities. Is it really they're being curt with you or are they typing on their mobile phone and they don't like to type? Or are they in a hurry? Or is there something you did to offend them? So when you ask these kinds of possibilities of what it could be other than, oh, oh, she hates me, other than that, say to them, oh, I know you're busy. You show sureness. So if they come off curt and it hurts your feelings, look at other possibilities of what they might have really meant and then be sure about who you are enough that it just goes off your back, off your back, because that's really important in selling you to the world. Because people respond to other people selling themselves as either, oh, I need that. That's exactly what I need. Thanks for showing up. Or, I don't have time for you right now. Or, I'd love to hear about this later. Really, I'd love to hear about this later. So the people that don't have time for you, you don't have time for them. It's OK. OK, bye-bye. The people who, who just want to see you again later, who don't have time right now but are interested, these are people who you ask, would you like me to follow up later? Are you, are you interested in this but don't have time? Would you like me to follow up later? OK, that keeps you in touch and hooked in. The third kind of people, I want this now, I can't wait to get it, whatever it is you're giving, selling to them. These are people who become your instant allies for your success. Understand that they are the jewel, the jewel. Appreciate them, they appreciate you, make them your friend, not just your customer or client. Now that's all for now, but there is plenty for you to learn over the next two to three months about what you're going to be doing to make this really happen, okay? And there are some people who are going to be showing up for you in a matter of three days, right? Yeah. A matter of three days. These people who are going to be showing up are going to deliver some goods. 
they're going to deliver some goods, and that's all I'm going to say about that, okay?